Hello, my name is Sandra McCollum. I just came into the Remax office, and right now we're discussing buying a house. Okay, so, um, what is your name? I'm Ray. And the house that I've been told, the receptionist told me that the house that you're interested in is the one over on my counter. Excuse me? I oh, yeah, sorry, I turned about it. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Good, you can take the next one. The, uh, let me ask you a few questions. Let's see if I can get the top of the screen. We would like to buy okay, that fine. house. Okay, fine. Yes, I yes, I am interested in buying it. How soon would you like to move in? Two months from now, if that's possible. Good, our average time for a house is 45 to 60 days. So that's the right time, right? Yes. I have worked with the seller, and I'm the person who has put the house on the market. So I know most of the answers to the questions you would have. Are there any questions that you may have? Um, yes, I'm curious. How much is that house worth now? And how old is the house? The house is a 12 year old house. And one of the things that we will give you is the seller has provided a disclosure statement, and that disclosure statement spells out how all the equipment in the house works, how old the roof is. Everything about the house, uh, they, they have to give that to you in life. Um, do you have it with you so that I can read over it right now? We have the disclosure statement, unfortunately. It's all in the kitchen counter. When you went through the house, we should have picked one up, and we didn't. We'll get it. Okay, we'll get it for you. And one of the oh, sorry, I missed it. Because the owner has a home warranty there for you, and all appliances are covered for one year. Good. Good. Oh, great. Have okay, you cool. Uh, no, it's my first yes, time. So we have a lot of financing options, and one of the financing options that we have get you a below market interest rate for a first time home buyer. Add that date. What is the interest rate now? I'm curious. The standard interest rate right now is about seven and a half percent. But on the type of loan for a first time home buyer I can get her a six and a half percent rate. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so, hmm. Well, 1,000, 100,000, 3,200. Can we, can we lower that rate? Can we, can we lower, lower the, the price? Um, and it's up to the seller to decide whether they would take something below 132. Will there be anyone who's going to come in the house to look over everything? What we ask um, you to do is we ask you to have structural inspection reports, and you would pay for that. But at the same time, we have the uh, sellers certifying if there were a problem, they would give you one year certification that it will not work. And it would not be the sellers, it would be the sellers paying a home inspection company to come out and make sure it's done. Okay, for those from Elsie's property,
Well, you know I'm deaf, right? So I'm wondering if it's possible that someone can install some lighting for like a deaf phone, deaf alarm, deaf doorbell. So instead of the doorbell ringing, it would flash the lights. Oh, one of the things that you can do is you can have an attic. And they could be running wires above the attic and down is it possible to install things from the attic and have it run all the well, way down to the basement? that way you would run that just from the first floor down. I mean, that can be done. And most of the wires would not be seen. So I'm wondering... You would hire somebody to do that. Is it the seller's, the seller too, but, um, is it the seller's responsibility? They or? would have to tell your specification. So, the kitchen, for me, it, I mean, it was really, really dirty. It really needs a good cleanup. It, the electricity, I saw that some wires were just hanging exposed and it didn't look safe. Will there be someone to fix that or? Anything that you see that you do not like, we would write into the offer and make the offer contingent upon the homeowner correcting that problem prior to settlement. So whatever it is, if you can take care of it through the contract. How long will the process take? Yes. It takes us someplace between 45 to 60 days to have all the paperwork done. Why? Well, you have you will go for a mortgage interview. And with that mortgage interview, several things will occur. You will pay for an appraisal, which will take two to three weeks to get the appraisal. The lender We'll do all the credit work. They'll have a credit report uh, run on you. They will do many verifications. They will verify your employment. They'll verify all the deposits that you have in any bank account. They'll, they'll also verify any charge accounts or any other type of accounts you have. And it takes people any place from three to five weeks to respond to the lender's request. Once that package is completed, they turn it over to an investor who takes oh, maybe three days to review the entire loan and then if you meet certain guidelines, they will give you the loan. Oh, wow. That process Lots is so long. Work. It just continues but you and don't continues. Do most of it. Other people do. But I'm you the one who's wait. waiting, and I'm responsible for all the waiting. That's where I've gotten right, all my true. gray hair from waiting. <laughs> oh, maybe my hair is going to turn white, too. Well, let me tell you, we can work it out that. Before we write the offer, we know that you're going to get the loan. There are certain formulas we use, and as long as you meet those formulas, you will get the loan. It is just a matter of waiting, so don't concern yourself with the wait. Because if we're able to write it, we, we know it will go through. Okay, so... 
I really want that house. I really want it really bad. I want it. I want that yeah. house. Okay. Bad. Well, I have the paperwork here to get everything started. If you're ready to, Great. go ahead and get started. You're ready? Okay, I am so excited. This is the One first time I buy a house. Do, so I'm preparing a few of the papers is to fill out this credit report sheet. It says, if you live with a roommate. Just go to the one. Okay, so it's a no, rental No, it's situation. asking about roommates. You are paying some rent. Okay, right. So I need to write if it's a single, it's divorced, widowed. Marital it's status. Single, married. I'm widowed. single, so just single. I write there. single. So whichever one. Should I circle it? Can I circle it? Whichever one. Yes. Ignore the other. Fine. One of the things when we're filling this out, we have to learn how to talk and write at the same time so it's never always quiet. So, I'm sorry, I have a question. I have no stock. I'm not rich. I have no bonds. Nothing. So should I just zero, zero, right? I have nothing. Yes. Let me just tell you a little more about this sheet. Okay. okay, sure. On this sheet, we will take this sheet to the seller. And it will give the seller a general picture of whether or not you qualify for the loan. So what we're trying to do is get an overall picture of you so we can show the seller. And before we show the seller, I'll even work out the formula that's needed under the kind of loan we're going to be looking at. Okay, fine. Great. Okay. So, I think I'm finished. I'm finished okay. with all of it. Well, let me ask you a couple questions about the house. It's easy. Oh, it's fast. It easy is. paperwork. When wow. you go to the lender, it's very clear. that one will be wow. a lot more detailed. Okay. Sandra, one of the things um, okay, in fine. looking at the house, are there items in the house that you would like to to have that the seller said they're leaving, such as the washer, the dryer, the curtains, the drapes, and things along that line. Okay, in our contract, we have a lot of things. Are you talking about 